So the Five Nights at Freddy's movie tra- teaser trailer has dropped two days ago. There's already some theories of what's going to be happening in the movie. So I decided, yeah, I should make one too. So here we are. Let's get, let's go on with the first theory. And I swear these chickens, I'm going to kill them all. Alright, the first theory that I'm going to be uh, doing is why is there still security guards in a abandoned place? Doesn't make really, doesn't make any sense, huh? Well, if you watched the leaked trailer of the FNAF movie, at the first start of the trailer, you can def- you can hear the a narrator saying the creator isn't ready to let it go yet. And now, here is where my theory takes place. All right, so there's probably an incident that will occur in Freddy Fazbear's Pizza, causing it to shut down, aka five kids missing in Freddy Fazbear Pizza, and then the cops tried looking for them. And then they couldn't find any any children at all left in the pizza in the pizza place, so they had to close down the restaurant. And William Afton is not ready to let to let the pizzeria go, and he loves these animatronics probably, and does not want to leave them alone in that pizzeria. But there's one problem: William Afton is the one that murdered these kids. And stuff them into the animatronics themselves. So pretty much, these animatronics are now possessed by these kids. There's the fifth one is you know who, you know who he is if you know the falaf lore. But I won't spoil it here for the ones that doesn't know. Okay, anyways, I'll, I'll go back to the theory. William Afton cannot bring the the four animatronics to his home or somewhere safe, cause like these things will like k- kill. William Afton because these children wants take wants to take revenge from William Afton from killing them and then putting them inside of a uh, animatronic. So what William Afton decides to do is hire some security guards like what he did before and then make them watch the animatronics instead of him, knowing for well that these security guards will not make it out alive and will come out dead. Yeah, n- never mind. They're not gonna come out, anyways. All right. The next theory is that why are the animatronics, um, has bright red eyes, fully red eyes, and people j- on on people are calling. Oh, never mind. I, I, I shouldn't be saying that. And there is a reason for it, rather than making them look um evil. Actually, William Afton is controlling these animatronics after a recent incident. Not really, not really recent. That was actually kind of years ago. Uh, An incident that happened years ago was the bite of 83, aka Evan's head, getting bitten by Fredbear, one of his creations, and making William real, William realize that these animatronics can be used as murder weapons. Uh, yeah. This guy's a psychopath. So you guys may be wondering about my last theory on souls. Per- possessing the animatronics um i th- i think that i have in mind is that william afton is controlling these animatronics back then or right now but in the past william afton is controlling these animatronics before the missing kids went missing pretty much is one of my three guys or 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 william afton is controlling the animatronics same as the souls at the same time but sometimes the souls doesn't really possess the animatronics that much but sometimes getting william to control the animatronics instead of the souls and i think they're taking inspiration with security breach because if you know who vanny is she has pure red eyes and do you know what do you want to know what controls her freaking William Afton. I'm not wrong. Also, that theory was from TikTok, so eh. And uh, I also want to point out that this guy getting strapped, uh, Mike Schmidt getting strapped in the in the, in this chair is this is this is not actually this this sequence right here is not Mike Schmidt, but rather this security guard because if you look at this photo over here, you can see that. What he's wearing is still ha- he still has the black jacket and the white t-shirt 
but in this one he has that classic uniform from those little from those fan arts so this will be a scene of this guy getting stuff in a suit or getting spring locked and that is it for my finest freddy's movie theory video um that's all that i can come up with with this one little teaser i'm i'm gonna make like a lot more like videos on this thing because i really love fantasy freddy's um yeah that's it uh i'm gonna i'm gonna go now